Right, that is, that is a positive. Now, not in regards to teaching, but how do you feel like your everyday life has been kind of affected by Corona? Well, I haven't been to a grocery store since March 13th. Um, Using Instacart or chips? Yeah, we've been doing Instacart. Um, my husband is still deemed an essential worker, so he goes to work every day. Um, and just that life in general, when he comes home, he has to take off his clothes, shower before like he can touch anything, and that's just a new transition. But I mean, I recommend Instacart. I, I thank those workers and all the workers that are doing all that work and risking their lives every day to make sure. Now, with Instacart, do you feel like it's been harder for you to find, like, some of those, like, toiletries and essentials, like paper towels? Um, well, <laughs> when this all started, before we got put on the lockdown and um, Governor Pritzker announced that we weren't going back, um, I freaked out about the toilet paper. You're cutting out right now. Can you still hear me? Like 2K stocker, and I ha I've always had like Purell and hand sanitizer, or not hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, but those are like 750 a bottle on Amazon. And now you can't even get them off Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I think our hardest struggle has been to get like gloves and masks for us to wear. I mean, the mask that we just got this weekend looks like a book cover that I put on my book in middle school, so. <laughs> actually just got gloves last week for the first time um and then we have masks that were just delivered today to my dad yeah yeah um, but i agree okay. yeah what were you saying before what are you doing during this time for like self-care so um as you know, and I'm sure a lot of people that watch Get Schools know, um, I'm a huge extrovert, so I'm not used to being at home so much. So, um, and I have anxiety, which I know I've probably talked about so many times on the show. So lately what I've been doing to kind of just like help ease myself, I've been doing a lot of like face masks. Um, I have a lot of adult coloring books, um, you know, like vacations and like inspirational ones. So I've been coloring a lot more than I normally do and um, creating a lot of new PPC products just so next school year, um, a lot of the stuff that I had on my list are kind of, you know, done. And they yeah. have a lot of TV series, like TV series that I probably would have never watched, but at this point I'm like, I need something to do. And I know you're really good about making like a to-do list and trying to get that done each and every day, even though sometimes your to-do list is to make a to-do list. It's just so funny that you said that because a parent, like I sent all my students, like other parents and parent check-ins just to kind of see how they were doing. And I was talking to one of the moms and, you know, we were talking about how sometimes like you have a in your head like oh I need to go to the grocery store to get one item and it's always that one item that you don't write down that you forget because you're like I'm not going to forget. Yeah. So I'm like well I need to do lists to make other to-do lists. Because, exactly. You know, it, just, it helps like keep me kind of organized and focused. Um, but I mean a few weeks ago like I organized everything. All my teaching stuff from the last eight years. My Google Drive is now color-coded. So I mean just like little things like that just to kind of keep me busy. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to take, I have a dog. I mean, I mentioned Wheezy. So just taking him on walks and doing the face mask and I've been doing a lot of like personal zooms. We just did um, with Fritz family, like Easter egg coloring in a Skype meeting. So just making sure you're still reaching out and talking, but going back, you had mentioned anxiety and, I was one that never really had anxiety and, you know, I kind of whatever was meant to be was meant to be was my motto and just, I've realized that I've gotten more anxiety through this whole thing and just finding like a way to deal with that anxiety. I think the hardest thing is I'm not as much of an extrovert as you. I, I'm more of a homebody, but now that I'm forced to be a homebody, that's one of the hardest adjustments. Is that? I 
definitely is. Especially, like, I mean, you're so used to going out a lot or, you know, even going to work. So that adjustment for you is a drastic change. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, like you mentioned, I've, I've watched shows that I never thought I would have watched on Netflix or, I mean, you mentioned I'm moving this week and just, I literally got to go through every single room and Goodwill received so much and the garbage man just picked up our, our two full bins. So it's, it, you know, at first it started off as like a blessing because it was only the two weeks. Right. And, and you know, I know you had said, I'm going stir crazy. And I was like, no, this is so good. This is, you're going to get everything done. And now here we are on week four this, or week five. The five, four, four, five? Into week five now, yeah. Well, for us, because I've been out of school now since I think it was March 13th. Yeah. And I really haven't left my house. And when I do, I always do wear gloves. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I went to like cancel drive through. But, yeah. And I mean, I have hand sanitizer in the car. So, like, I only pay with card right now. And it's like, as soon as I get my card back, I'm like spraying my car. Yeah. Yeah. Know, it's such a different way of life. And, it, just, it makes me nervous in general. Yeah. and I think that's the hardest thing to deal with it's like yes I am younger but like what if I'm asymptomatic who can I give this to if I right. not? which I think is what the most stressful part of all of all of this is my husband always says pretend like everything has blue paint that you touch right and then you notice that your hands are <laughs> here yeah so okay. how are you keeping in contact with families your students, your families. So um, basically through Google Classroom, I've been doing a lot of classroom videos and then I've been giving my students an opportunity to like send me videos back or even just write and tell me how they're feeling. And then I do use Class Dojo. And um, once a week I send the parents a, a message individually, but they all get the same one. And it says, you know, like, I just wanted to check in with you. How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? Because I think at the end of the day, right now with everything going on, it is just nice to talk to somebody. It is. Like, you know, I, I FaceTime you all the time, and sometimes I'm just like, Liz, can you just, just sit there on my <laughs> Sometimes I just lay in bed as I'm watching TV and you're there. <laughs> so I feel like it's really good to just be someone that they can talk to if they want to. Yeah. And a lot of the parents that they said, you know, thank you for checking in on me. I hope you're doing well also. So it's kind of nice to like keep in touch and just like see a thing. Yeah. I mean, there's times where I just want someone to talk to, and I'm sure they feel the same way, especially if they have kids. And yeah, yeah obviously they have kids. They're <laughs> my but you know what I mean. I think the one thing that you had said is like that, um, just checking in, yeah. even you know, with your kids. And I know that you have the um, like check in form for them to use where they can tell you how they're feeling. You can respond to that, but you know, parents also need that check in too. And and that's something I think you and I both try and do is where we check in just, Hey, anything that I can do. I mean, most of the time parents don't take you up on it. You know, they're grateful, but it, so you know, just making sure you're always there for them. Yeah. But it is nice. I mean, I've had a few parents even recommend TV shows for me to watch and it's like, yeah, yeah nice right now to make those connections especially because we're not in school but at right. the end of the day you know like I'm still working with them in order for their right. kids to completely learning so it's right. a connection that we have which is really great and beneficial right right yeah. I mean, <laughs> for, for normalcy again like yeah. I want my regular routine I want to be able to just like go to Starbucks and not have to worry. I mean, I've been making coffee every day, and there's some days where I have nothing else to do, so I'm drinking three cups of coffee a day, and that's yeah. what I normally wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah. The quarantine 15, huh? <laughs> Let me tell you. My favorite meme is the social distance. I need a social distance for my fridge. <laughs> the first two weeks that we were off work, I literally gained, like, Seven and a half, eight pounds. No, <laughs> because it's like you are just eating all your quarantine snacks. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'm going back to work soon. Well, then the last two weeks, I was like, all right, Georgia, Georgia, like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> We're not fitting. And then it's like, all right, uh, I'm, I'm down four pounds now. So there you go. See? Um, 
That's fun because I, I actually saw on, was it Rachel Ray today that 15, 15 minutes is your average craving. So if you can make it out of those 15 minutes, you won't crave it anymore. I don't know if that's true, but some doctor said it today. So I'll try that. I mean, I notice if I'm outside, I'm like less likely to like snap, but yeah. Sorry, you cut out. Can you say that again? I can't hear you. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it's going to glitch. Can you hear me? No, I can. All right. See, that's one of the technology glitches. Can you Zoom with your kids if you're allowed to Zoom? I wish I could glitch. I know. I think, you know, sometimes, and I mean, we're recording this Zoom too, so that's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been rollerblading a lot more. I should have said this earlier, but um, I've always had trouble stopping my rollerblades, and I still am a little bit. So the one day I'm like going downhill really fast, and I guess it's just the time that I'm going to learn how to stop. It's really good because there's no cars driving around. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes I almost ran into a few trees, but I am okay. So fall in the grass if you need to. Literally. literally. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is a new way of life. It's, you know, to any teachers out there, you, you know, everybody, thank you for everything. All the workers, the mail drivers, the garbage men, the Uber Eats people, you know, support your small and local businesses. If you feel comfortable going and getting or ordering food, I, you know, just We'll see how long this pandemic lasts. I just pray every day. You know, some people are not religious, that's fine. But, you know, for me, that's like what comforts me in times like these. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see. Well, um, Liz, thank you so much for joining our episode of Get Schooled on Zoom. Yeah, I never thought I would ever have to do with this, like an interview. I kind of like this way. The funny thing is I never thought in a million years that I would have to social, social distance from like my good friends and like my family. Like I think that's, that's actually really hard. But like, yeah. like I miss my brother, my sister-in-law, my cousins, like yeah. babies, my grandma. Like you know, I talked yeah. to my mom from 10 feet away the other day to drop her off some books and I'm just like, this is so weird. Yeah, yeah. And I think maybe this is like one of our best ones because one, it's honest. Yeah. And there's no script. We didn't really plan this out like we normally do. <laughs> we mess up a lot, but we did good today. It's all right, yeah. So, <laughs> well, thank you, everyone that's joining us and has watched us and supported us. And, you know, stay strong and stay in there and stay positive. And if you ever need to reach out, you can reach out to us. And, you well, know, here for you. yeah, we have nothing else to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> We don't have kids. Yeah, that's that's true. That's what I always say. So I did adopt a new turtle, but Yeah, you sure did. About it. Well thanks, Liz, and thank you everyone for watching. Yes, thank you, Miss Kotiovos. <laughs> Miss Capazano. Yes. Cozy Kinders. All right, bye. <laughs>